Jamada Fayera of Ethiopia wins the men's marathon. He finished with two hours, 15 minutes, and five seconds, beating his compatriot Abdisa Badada Sari and Barno Alicia Kaprab of Kenya. Ethiopian runners dominated in the women's event by wrapping the first three places. Rogeli Rahima Kedder finished with two hours, 34 minutes, and 53 seconds to win her champion title. Masika Demisi and Dabulu Shitaye Gamuchu respectively took the second and third place. Among thousands of runners, a team made up by two athletes with physical disabilities captured our attention. Yun Su Fang lost both her arms in an accident, while Su Hong Yan lost her eyesight because of cancer when she was born. Yu and Su participate in the 10 kilometer event at the Hong Kong Marathon together as a unique team to show the people that the disabled can meet the challenges and these individuals could surely live a normal life like anybody else. It is not very hard actually. This is something new for me. This is the third time for me to participate in the race. My first time to run the race was decision by my dad. I took part in the marathon for the second time when I was a high school student. And this time is something brand new. The race gives me an opportunity to cooperate with them. People support each other. You are my eyes and I'm your hands. People help each other. Solidarity means strength. Safety first, friendship first, competition second. Standard Charters Bank has sponsored the Hong Kong Marathon for a 19 consecutive year. The event has grown from just 1,000 competitors to 73,000 this year. The race includes a full marathon, a half marathon and a 10 kilometer. And this year, the sponsor has also added two wheelchair races, a 3 kilometers and a 10 kilometer route. The event aims to promote a healthy lifestyle and a marathon spirit in Hong Kong's community. This is CNC World, a new perspective.